on the matching part, problem 6. They give us x squared minus 25. This has the factoring pattern of difference of two squares. Or another way to think about it is that it's a quadratic trinomial where the middle term is 0. And in this case, the a value is 1. So we would just use simple quadratic factoring with, with this. If we're going to multiply to negative 25 but add to 0, we need one of our numbers to be positive and the other to be negative. And in this case, the two numbers that would make that happen for us would be positive 5 and negative 5, and that matches with letter D. On problem 7, we're given another one to expand out so we can match it with its standard form. I'm going to use the box method to do that. x plus 7 on one side and x minus 4 on the other side. Find the area of all the little boxes and then add those little boxes together. I'm going to combine these like terms. My result is x squared plus 3x minus 28, and that matches with letter C. Problem 8, they give us a quadratic trinomial, but before I do any factoring related to that type of poly polynomial, notice that this has a greatest common factor. All of these terms are divisible by 6. And so I'm going to factor that out of each term before I do any other type of factoring. And so here's the result that I get. And in this case, the quadratic polynomial on the inside there, x squared plus 2x minus 6, cannot be factored further. So this is our final answer, and that matches with letter J. On number 9, they give us a quadratic trinomial where the a value is 1, so we can use simple quadratic factoring for this. Set up the parentheses, put in the x's. In this case, we're trying to multiply to a positive 12 and add to a positive 1. So to make that happen, both of our numbers would have to be positive. Next, I want to list out the factors of 12 to see what multiplies to that. And out of that group, it doesn't look like any of them add to a positive 1. So in this case, this polynomial is not factorable, and that matches with letter I. Problem 10, they give us another polynomial that's already in factored form. We want to expand it to match it with its standard form. Use the box method for this. Find the area of all the little boxes. And again, when I add my boxes together, I want to combine those like terms. And this final answer matches with letter F.